Sarah Cook, the first night I met you, I knew I wanted to date you. And even though I can't say you had me at hello, I can say you had me at Donald McNabb, which wasn't that much past hello. <laughs> a year later on the drive to San Diego where we would start dating, I had the biggest butterflies in my stomach because I knew, even though we weren't even dating yet, that I was on my way to start the rest of my life with you. Jack, the night we met, I left thinking I would never see you again, that my sister made us leave the bar too early, and that I missed my chance. <laughs> I remember specifically thinking on the way home, whoever ends up with that guy is so lucky. <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> I still can't believe that's me. One night to be confused, one night to speed up truth. We had a promise paid for us and then no both under influence, we had divine said to know what to say. You really are my favorite person in any room, my best friend, my family, my happiness, and I cannot get enough of you. I want a puppy full of love every day as we come up with new songs to sing about our dogs together. <laughs> to sum this up, there was a moment in our first month of dating when you told me something that should have scared me away but only made me love you more. I feel like I'm ready to say it back now that you're about to become my husband. <laughs> Jack, you will need to be cried for my cold, dead hands. <laughs> As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. I promise to be kind and tender when you're vulnerable. I promise to be there when you're sick. And I promise to be there when you're sick. <laughs> oh. And above all else, I promise to always make time for you and for us. So with all that said, and knowing that we can't start spending the rest of our lives together until I shut up and end this, I'll say this. Sarah girl, you are my world. And I will be everything you need. And if for some reason you don't feel like talking, I could just sit and enjoy your company forever. I love you. Kept us away with false tears, sharing different heartbeats than one love. It's my honor and delight to declare you married. Jack, you may now kiss the bride. I am so pleased to present to you the newlyweds, Sarah and Jack Braveleck. Oh.